it may be that we end up in no Trump, but I know where we're going. Okay? You have an unbalanced hand. You have whatever your hand is, and you've described your hand. What you've told me adds up to, tell me how many aces you got, and tell me how many kings you got, and, if, and I will figure it out. Okay. Now, the hardest part about bridge, one of the hardest parts about bridge, is being able to visualize how many tricks your hand, your, the two combined hands can take. Okay? So when I'm looking at this hand, um, if your partner has two aces, how many, uh, how many tricks are you going to lose? Two. Two. If your partner has three aces, how many tricks are you going to lose? Okay, you're going to lose one. And if your partner has one ace, okay, you're going to lose three. You, you can't outrun an ace usually unless the opponent's not on. Okay. Um, now, with this hand, if my partner only has one ace, I'm probably going to be looking for a new partner. Okay, because he's advertised something that looks like a 16 count, and I've got what I put up there 14. Okay, so at most, we're off two aces. Okay, because between the two of us, we should have 30 points. So I am going to invoke black red by bidding four no, because all I need to know is how many aces or how many kings you got, and I can place contract. Okay. Now, Blackwood is bizarrely simple. The mechanics of Blackwood are bizarrely simple. Has anybody here ever fouled up a Blackwood auction? <laughs> More than once? With the same partner? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, Blackwood, count to four. If you can count to four, you can play Blackwood. Okay, I'm looking for aces. They should have an A on the card. No, no. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to give you the mechanics of Blackwood. After 4 and 0, 5 clubs equals 0 or 4. Okay, 5 clubs is I don't have any, or I've got all 4 of them. Your partner will know which. Five, five diamonds equals one, five hearts equals two, and five spades equals three. Okay. Your partner will know whether you're zero or four. Yes, because he's either looking at all of them himself or he doesn't have any. I, okay. He's either asking on a hand like this or he's asking on a hand where he's got where those are aces instead of kings. Yes, ma'am. It's unlikely that he would have that, that the opponents would have all the aces if you go back to the tie. Yes, it is impossible. So I so I will know. Seriously, diamond spade, diamond spade, three spades, four no. You've got at least two. You jump. You have what I expect as an 18 count. You have at least two. Could have three. You could have four. Under no circumstances, if you're ever going to play with me again, do you have zero. Because you've advertised an 18 count, and unless we're playing Z knuckle, actually, yeah, you're just not going to have zero. But change it to this. What do I need to know on this hand? Kings. Well, I need to know kings. I know how many aces you have. Okay. And by the way, this has happened. That there have been, according to my partner, five aces in a deck. <laughs> So 
look at this hand. Now I don't need to know aces, I need to know kings. Okay, so. Well, I will, does this make some sense? And I'll walk through this in a bit. But let, let's look at this. Now, I know how many aces you have. I've got to ask that question to find out how many kings you have. When you're playing Blackwood, five no trump, absolutely, positively, every single time, without exception, says, we have all the aces. I need to know how many kings you have. And I'm interested in seven. Okay? Because if you're not interested in seven, what can you bid? I'll just bid six. Okay? But we have all the aces, great. We're not off two aces, six spades. Um, Blackwood really exists to prevent getting to a slam off two aces. If, if you have enough for slam between the two tricks, or between the two hands, all I want to do is make sure that we aren't off two aces. Okay, so take these aces and put them back in kings. Okay, if my partner bids three, and we'll just go through this real quick. Okay, partner bids five hearts. How many aces does he have? Two. Two. So what contract do I want to be in? Four spades. Six. One. Four spades. So, well, I want to be in four spades. They aren't going to let me play four spades. So my next bid is five, 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 five spades. Five. I'm in charge. Okay. <clears throat> Partner bids five spades. How many aces does he have? There are, how often does this come up? Y'all play, y'all play 12 hands on Sunday night, okay, on the back row. How many times do y'all bid a slam in a given night? None. None, okay. <laughs> okay, in a month, you might bid a slam, give or take. Okay, so this doesn't come up. This is cool. I'm going to bid a slam. I don't get to do this every day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, you bid a black one, four no trump. Yes. And I respond five spades. I have an answer. You did answer. The five clubs equals zero or four. Five oh, great. Okay. That's right. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. That's my answer. I'm not going back to my suit. Isn't? Yeah, I'm ignoring your Blackwood question. It's the answer to you. It could be the answer to your Blackwood question. Okay. So five spades is three. So what contract do I want to be in? Six spades. Six spades. So I should bid. If only there were a way to tell my partner I want to play six spades. <laughs> six spades. Six spades. <laughs> I'm in charge. Okay. Does that make some sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So you can never just jump ahead to five no trump. You have to do the four no trump first, even if you have the four aces. Correct. Okay. You should. Anybody here, and this will get me back to what I was saying before. This is cool. Bid and slam. Gonna bid slam. I don't get to do this every day. Boy, I hope I don't foul this up. I want my partner and I to be on the same page. Okay? Which involves two things. First of all, is I'm giving a message. Okay? My partner has to understand what I'm doing, and he has to respond. I have to understand his response. Okay, 
it. So I ask a question, he has to understand the question, give the right answer, and I have to be able to do math and count to four to figure out whether we have all the aces or not. And seriously, I'm a reasonably good bridge player. Oops. <laughs> and, and, and I got lucky. Okay, and then I'll tell you what happened. I, I, I was playing an extra special fancy version of Blackwood called Roman Keycard Blackwood. Y'all should look it up, okay, if you haven't. Okay, Roman Keycard Blackwood. Roman Keycard Blackwood. I'm looking at a couple people that... That was the 030 or the 30? Yes, 3014. Or 1430. But that's the problem. Okay. Whichever one. You and your partner agree. Okay. And the concept for Roman Keycard Blackwood that we'll get to on when you want to do it is the same as the concept for Blackwood. Okay. It's the same for no Trump that's still the bid that kicks it off. The responses are just a little different. Okay, but still, all I need to know is how many aces and how many key cards you have, and I can place the contract. Okay. And I'm just throwing that out there for people that want to do a little more research. Roman key card Blackwood okay, is a is kind of like Blackwood um, on steroids. <laughs> You get to find out about the King of Trump and the Queen of Trump. A little more complex. Concepts are still the same. And, it, and if you play Roman Keycard Blackwood, it's important that your partner also plays Roman Keycard Blackwood. <laughs> so, but anyway, it, there's something else out there. Okay. So now, so partner bids five spades, they just bid six spades. Partner, I want to be in six spades. Now I'm going to give you the bullets. Wait, so that's where no Trump, he's got to say five clubs, so then you can say five no Trump asking for the king. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so you got to do it that way. And I'm going to write it up. And, and, you, and that gets back to, okay, I'm playing Blackwood, asking for aces, going to slam. This is great. <laughs> Boy, I hope I don't foul this up. So you and your partner should be on the same page. If you need to, use a tool to figure out how many aces you have so you can give the right response. Do it. You've got a bidding box right here. It's four no trump. And then five, and then the next row is five clubs on the right, five diamonds, five hearts, five spades. And it's a step response. Okay, the weakest response is zero, one, two, three. Going across the bidding box. So, yep, that's two. Try not to move your lips when you're doing this. <laughs> okay. I've got two. Five hearts. If that, seriously, do not... Try not to give the wrong response because it's a pretty darn simple question. Okay? I've done it. I probably do not know a bridge player that's been playing for a while that hasn't done it. And, you know, when it happens... Oops! Sorry. Couldn't count to three. And... I have the benefit of playing with partners that have exceptional senses of humor, so stuff happens and, oops. So now I've got this hand, nothing but bullets. Okay, and, and I've got the queens up here so that really if my partner has a king, um, then it fills out the suit. Got the bullets. And partner bids five diamonds. And that's what I say. I say, <laughs> Yeah. Just stop 
like this happen? God is my witness. Five aces in this deck. I don't know how it happened. Everybody playing with blue cards here? Blue? You know, mine are blue. Don't. So partner bids five clubs. And I bid five nine. Okay, the responses for kings are the same as the responses for aces on the upper level. Six clubs equals zero or four. Six diamonds equals one. Six hearts equals two. Six spades equals three. Okay, and from there, I can place the contract. Yes, ma'am. A little trickier at the at the king level to decide. Well, <clears throat> um, he must have four because I don't have any, and the opponents have any because they don't, you know. So, so how, how do you make that decision? How do you decide mm -hmm. that he that your partner has four kings? Uh, you need them. Oh, because he jumped, and, and all of this presupposes. My partner has shown a certain amount of strength that makes me think that he could have the missing aces or kings I'm looking for. I'm not doing this on a one spade, two spade auction. Okay, Blackwood presupposes that my partner has made a bid that makes me think that we could be able to take 12 tricks. Okay, so my partner has shown a good amount of strength by jumping to three spades. I'm playing them for 16 to 18, either balanced 18 or an unbalanced 16 clubs, 16 to 18. So how your partner knows when you say five clubs that he's asking for, you know, you had to go for five notrum to ask for king because five club could be zero aces, right? If your partner <laughs> starts a Blackwood auction, okay, and you respond, and then she bids five no trump, she is saying, got all the aces, interested in seven, tell me how many kings you got. So you got to have that, that's, that's the code. Oh, okay. okay, Four no is aces. Five no is we have all the aces, otherwise I'm not interested in seven, and I want to know how many kings you got. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. But you still have to go through all the machinations of four no, five club. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, and, and actually, I play with a partner who... Hmm. Couldn't you just do five no with the understanding partner that you're not going to do that unless you have the aces? You could. Okay. There's no good reason to. Five no could be used for something else. Okay. <laughs> 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 Does now what that would be, I don't know. <laughs> I've spilled some coffee. Okay. <laughs> I mean, five no tends, there are a couple of um, Standard meanings for five no. One of them is pick a slam at the sixth level. Um, the other is I'm interested in seven. If you have, it's called a grand slam force. We're going to six. If you have two of the top three cards in your suit, bid seven. Now that has largely been done away with with Roman key cards. Um, so five no, I'm trying to think of a good meaning for this bid. And, and even if I'm, and I'm going to make something up, I'm a really, really good bridge player. Yes, I'm making this up. I, I am a really good bridge player that knows all things about bridge. I know what five no trump should be. It means this. The fact that I know this does not mean that my partner knows this. Okay. Now,
That'll work. I'm just going to put that up for later. Seriously, this is fun. How do you learn stuff? I mean, this, this is okay for learning stuff, but how do you learn stuff? Just practice. You practice. do stuff. And how do you really learn stuff? That's a good You foul it up. Yeah, I heard you. I'm never going to forget that again. <laughs> okay. Fun and for you in a bit. And I'll learn a lesson. Does this make some sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Does everybody have the mechanics of black? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Do you always start one diamond? Oh, God, no. That's just the... <laughs> We had a, that's the auction I chose to put okay. up with. Okay. okay. We've had an auction, something, 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 and whatever the something you said makes me think we have enough for slam. Okay. It, it actually could be one spade, four no drum. Okay. No, th this hand. One spade, four no drum. All I need to know is aces and kings. I don't need to go through the machinations of, okay. Yes, ma'am. And um, the invitation doesn't have to be a job. Or does it? No. It, it, you have told me something that makes me think that these two hands could add up to slam. Um, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, three spades, four no. Two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, four spades, four no. Yeah, it, it's, we may have slam. All I need to know is how many aces and how many kings you got. Okay, the mechanics of, and, and that's, the hardest part about Blackwood is not being able to count to four. You gotta be able to do that. The hardest part about Blackwood is knowing when to use it and when not to. When is it that all I need to know about this hand is how many aces you have? Well, there are a couple of times where that knowledge is not all I need to know. Okay, so we're, we're, that's about all I'm going to give you on the mechanics. So now I'm going to change this hand a little. I am going to make you think. The auction's gone one diamond, one spade, three spades. Okay. Could I pass three spades? Absolutely I can pass three spades. It's an invitational bid, says Parker. Look at your hand. We almost have enough for game. Okay. If you have, you promised me six points and four spades, if that's what you got, we probably want to play three spades. If you have a little bit more, we want to be in four. Okay. So I can pass three spades. So if I'll, if all I want to do is play three spades, I pass. What if I want to be in game? I bid four spades. Okay. What if I have interest in slam? What do I bid? Any Anything else? Anything else? Okay, anything else I bid shows interest in slam. Because if all I want to do is play four spades, I'd bid four spades. But that's the eight. Four spades. Four spades. You invited me, I accept. Good luck play or yeah, wish me luck, because I get to play this game. So if I have interest in slam, I can bid anything else. So it's four diamonds. It's four diamonds saying diamonds might play better than spades. Play where are we gonna play this hand? In a major. 
Under no circumstances are we playing this hand in diamonds. I'm not inviting you to go back to diamonds. Why would you bid that? Why would you bid that? Okay, what I'm going to do is show interest in slam if you have the right hand. need to make slam on this end. And I'm going to move this over here so that you can visualize this. This is me. So diamond, diamond, spade, three spades. Okay, this hand has a seven, an, an unbalanced 17 count. Okay, invitational, okay, three spades. Look at these two hands and tell me what you expect to make. Or tell me what you expect to lose. We can do it like that. How many spades are we going to lose? One. One. One on a good day. Two on a really, really bad day. Two on a day where you say, you know, I'm not going to buy a lottery ticket <laughs> on my way home today. Right. How many hearts are we going to lose? None. None. Diamonds? None. None. And None. clubs? Okay, so if we're going to lose at most one, uh, one spade, unless spades break 4-0, which happens whenever you bid. Whenever, <laughs> whenever <laughs> I win. <laughs> Actually, one out of eight times. Here we go. There should some, be some way to look it up if only somebody had a book with all this probability stuff. Yeah, about one out of eight times. Um, they're going to break 3 1, 50%. They're going to break um, 2 2, 40%. So I guess 10% of the time you've got a 4 0, give or take. Off the top of my head. It's nice knowing stuff like that. In, uh, chapter 12 in your book on finesses uh, yeah, actually has somebody who's figured all this stuff. And somebody has their vote, chapter 12. Let me see how close to off the top of my head it is. What's that? 39 of Queen. There we go. Okay, yeah. 3 1 50, 2 2 41 ish, and 4 0. 9.6, so. show interest in slam. Four clubs, four diamonds, and four hearts. He chose four diamonds. Okay, he bypassed four clubs okay, with this particular hand here. He is showing a hand that has interest in slam 
that does not have a club control. Now, if he had this hand, hands of Big Black would tend to have no more than one loser in any suit. So give me this hand, and I have a reasonable this hand is a black wood hand. Okay. If my partner has all the aces, um, if, if we're only off one ace, I'll take a shot at six. My partner's got to have something for his bid. He did jump to three spades. So um, if he has the king of diamonds, we don't have any diamond losers. If he's got the ace of hearts, we don't have any heart losers. If he's got the ace of clubs, we don't have any club losers. So I'm still somewhat concerned about the spade suit. Okay. This is a blackwood hand. Okay. No more than one loser in any suit. Okay. All I need to know is how many, just just checking to make sure we aren't off two aces. Now, so when you say that, you're talking about when I'm looking at my hand. Yep. In whether to invoke it. Yep. What, what? Diamond, spade, three spades. Could this add up to slam? Yeah. Now I'm going to make a change. Could this add up to slam? Probably not. I've got a nine count. My partner has an 18 count. I guess if all the planets align. If all the planets align, we can make six. If all the planets don't align, we can make four. Okay, so asking for aces on this hand, and I'm just going to spitball here. I'm going to start throwing cards up. King, queen, ace, king, queen, yeah, so my partner could have that hand, okay, and does this hand add up to making six? Yeah. That is a 7, 13, that's a 19 count. Okay, balanced 18 count. Does this add up to making 6? Yeah. Well, I need a few things. I'm going to lose a club. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got a reasonable shot to lose, and I've got a 50-50 shot of losing a diamond. Actually, maybe worse than that, because if they, yeah, I might lose two diamonds, okay? And again, I need a 2-2 two, two break in spades, okay? Which happens, you know, it, it, this is stuff you think about when you're pursuing slam. Is this going to add up to a slam? It's like, well, I know, I know my partner has four diamonds and four spades. He's got at most five cards in <laughs> other suits. Are we going to have everything covered? I digress. Good. Yes. Did I miss?
miss it or did you not there tell? yet okay oh. so i've got this hand <laughs> am i interested in this plan diamond yeah. spade three spades yeah. absolutely am. Okay, I'm interested in slam. Is this a good Blackwood hand? Well, I've got two losers in a suit. If only there were a way to warn my partner that I've got trouble in clubs. If I could tell my partner that I've got trouble in clubs, that would be a really good message to give my partner. So I'm gonna tell my partner that I have interest in slam, but I have a problem in clubs. interest in slam but I've got a problem in clubs the way I do that is by making a control showing me four diamonds shows a control in diamonds it denies having a control in clubs okay. now if Parker, knowing that I have a control in diamonds is all he needs to know about interest in, and, and shows interest in the slam, because otherwise I'd just bid four spades. Now, at this point, my partner can bid four no, if that's all he needs to know, if he's got clubs covered, and likely hearts covered, okay? Or he can bid four hearts. Partner, I've got hearts covered. Okay. Are we done? I've still got a problem in clubs. Partner, I have interest in slam. I've got a problem in clubs. Okay, is this message? Yes, ma'am. Well, hearts doesn't tell you have a problem with anything. No, four. Just have hearts. Four hearts shows the ace of hearts. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm making a, again, I'm making a control showing bid. I have interest in slam. I've got a control in this suit. I am denying having a control in suits that I skip over. So you are not playing Garber here, right? Nope. I, I haven't started, I, I haven't done any ace asking bid. I haven't said how many you got. What I'm doing is pinpointing ones that we have. So does the openers for hearts deny control in clubs? Then? Nope. No. Yeah, they, they responses tend to go cheapest first. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a cubit of void? Absolutely a cubit of void. Okay. Which was coming next. Sorry. It's okay. Um will a void prevent me from losing a trick in a suit contract? It will in a suit contract, if, as long as I can trump it. Will it help in no trump? No. All right. Questions, comments? So how, what if you do have a control and responder has a control in clubs? How does that, well, and, and, how does he show that? Well, and here's this message. Am I too big here? Probably. Would I have a 13 count? Opposite of, no, I got 15 count. Gosh. Okay, so partner, I'm interested in slam. I've got a diamond control. I don't have a club control. He shows me the um, ace of hearts by bidding four hearts, and I go back to four spades. Partner, nothing else to show you that. Um, won't get it, won't potentially get us in trouble. In theory, I could bid five hearts to show a heart control, but again, I've got two losers in clubs. Okay, so at this point, I can just stop. Okay, partner, I've got interest in slam. I've got a problem in clubs. Next step is yours. Does that make some sense? Question. Yes, ma'am. It makes sense, but it, pre it, pre it suggests that you and your partner have exchanged this information and know what you're going to be doing. I mean, in other words, um, you, 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 you're four diamonds. Is 
very clear. This is an understanding between you and the Titan. Your four dying disks signal control and diamond. Yes. And deny control and clubs because if you look at control and clubs, you have a dead club. Yes. Actually, when I start making a control showing dead, I'm telling you I've got a problem somewhere. Because if I didn't have a problem anywhere, I'd just be going to four no Trump right. and asking for aces. Mm -hmm. So when I start making control showing bids, I have a problem somewhere. If I have no more than one loser in any suit, I ask for aces. So if you have, no, instead of diamond, if your diamonds are weak, And you have a control in heart. Then you go for heart. For yeah. heart instead of diamond. Yeah, y y give me this. Am I really interested in slam on this hand? I've got a 13 count. My partner has to have the right hand. Okay, right hand is going to be, and when I, and I'm going to pretend I do have interest in slam on. hand, I bid four hearts, and my partner thinks, because that's what my partner does. <laughs> okay, my partner has interest in slam, but he doesn't have a club control, and he doesn't have a diamond control. I wonder what that looks like. Maybe I'd throw the king of diamonds up here. Okay. And if my partner's got controls in clubs and diamonds, and aces and kings, instead of queens and jacks, he very possibly is interested in slam. Once he hears that I'm interested in slam, mm -hmm. four heart shows interest in slam. And it kind of denies being big enough to just bid slam on your own. Yeah. Okay. If I've got a 16 count um, or a 17 count, I might just take the bull by the horns. And I know we don't have two losers in any suit <coughs> because my partner's guaranteed enough points that we just don't have two losers in any one suit. So give me this. Now I've got a 16 count. Two well, I've got a 16 count. And yeah, well, I was just making sure I only had 13 cards. Okay. No losers in this hand. Do I anticipate we're making seven on this hand? What does my partner have for his three spade bid? He's got either 18 points or an unbalanced 16 to 18 point hand with clubs and diamond. Okay. So can I see seven on this hand? Yeah. Why not? Do I anticipate that seven exists on this hand if my partner has the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs? And the king of spades, which I'm <laughs> sorry, and the king of spades, which I will find out about. 
Seriously, and, and that's 11 of the 17 or so that my partner's showing. Okay, my partner's either on balance with a 16 plus hand or he's balanced with an 18 count. Okay, with this hand, I can just start counting tricks. Okay, I'm, I'm going to start filling in cards now. Wow, that's a pretty god-awful jump. Well, Ken has 14 cards. <laughs> what are we going to make? Nine on this hand as long as spades don't break? Three up? So we're going to take six, six spades, four diamonds, three clubs, and two hearts. We're going to make nine, okay, if my partner has the right hand. So here, can I visualize slam on this hand? Yeah. And make it this. Yeah, I guess that's a jump to three spades. So what do I have? I've got seven, ten. I've got a 16 count with a singleton on balance with diamonds and spades. So diamond, spade, three spade. Okay. Partner isn't going to be worse than this for his jump to three um, spades. Okay. Let's just do the auction. This is your hand. Diamond spade, three spades. Your partner bids four no. What's he want to know? Aces. Aces. How many do you have? One. So your response is? Five diamonds. Five diamonds. What's your bid with this hand? Five squares. How many tricks do you think you can take? How many aces are you missing? Okay. Now again, this game gets a lot easier if you can count to four. <laughs> I've fouled this up before. It happens. Okay. Time to buckle down. We are in an ace asking auction. This happens once a month in my life. Okay. This is the one hand in July that I get to ask for aces. Let's add up the four and figure out whether we belong in slam. And in general, if you're bidding Blackwood and find out you're off an ace, your bid is six. Blackwood does not exist to verify that you have all the aces. And if you have all the aces, you want to be in six. Blackwood exists to prevent you from getting a slam off two aces. Yes, ma'am. Well, never mind, sorry. I, I see. That's wrong. Okay. Questions, comments? Yes, ma'am. Fundamental question. Okay, one diamond pass, one spade pass. When my partner was in response to the one spade goes to three spades, they're telling me they have four. Yes. But they're not telling me they have over 14. They are. Because I've got three ways to show you spades. Diamond, one diamond, one spade. I can bid two spades, I can bid three spades, or I can bid four spades. Two spades shows a minimum hand, 12 to 15, give or take. Three spades shows invitational hand, 16 to 18, with the inference that if partner had a balance, 16 or 17 count, he would have opened a no trump. And four spades is to the moon. Four spades shows a 19 count. Okay, so when I bid one spade, the person who bid one diamond actually did not have a balanced hand, but they had over 14. Well, they had an opening hand with, they, they had.
Okay, when I open a diamond, I've got an opening hand that couldn't open a major, couldn't open no trump, my diamonds are released as long as my club. I've got 11 to 19 points. Okay. Wide, wide range. Yeah, and so, what's in the way of the no trump is the balance pair. Yeah. So I would open a diamond with this. I would open a diamond if I took the ace of clubs away and made it an X. Okay. One diamond just says I've got an opening hand with diamonds. Or my diamonds are released as long as my clubs. Couldn't open it. Questions, comments? All right, got one more hand for you. And then we're going to be off Blackwood. Okay, and I'll spend five minutes on Gerber. Actually, we'll take a break and then I'll spend five minutes. I'll probably spend more time on Gerber than that, but not much. Because again, aces and kings in a suit contract, I can start adding up tricks. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm only going to lose one card in this suit. In no trump, if I'm going to be playing in no trump, okay, I'm going to say aces and kings aren't as important, but they aren't as important as opposed to some other stuff that we'll talk about once I get there. So one more hand, I've got this. you have and you have a void is it an ace no that's how seven no trump doubled happened <laughs> seven no trump come on opening lead i've got an ace i wonder if they're gonna make this okay so with this hand what do i do I am just saying your bottom of business. Diamond, I did a spade. My partner bids three spades. <coughs> four club. Four spades is code for I want to play four spades. Okay, four spades says done. Nothing to see here. Let's try to take ten tricks. Control? Yep, we are. We're in a suit contract. Okay, I've got control of clubs in a suit contract. Don't try this at home if you're looking for no trump. But in but in spades, we aren't losing any clubs. Okay, and what's my partner gonna do? Bid, bid diamonds or not? Bid diamonds. He's gonna bid diamonds or not bid diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. He's going to bid diamonds or not bid diamonds. Okay. So let's say he doesn't bid diamonds. Does he have a heart control? Probably not. Well, I'm looking at the ace and king. So if he has a heart control, what is it? It's a void. Okay, queen is not a control. A control bid. Control is, I can prevent us losing the first trick in this suit. Once you get extra special fancy, you may want to expand that to, I can prevent us from losing the first two tricks in this suit and show a king. I would advise you not to do that because it gets complex. And is there a difference between an ace and a king? Yes. Yeah, by golly, there is. Okay, so my partner bids four spades.
Am I still and what has he done? He's denied having a heart control. Okay, because he could have been. Yes, I'm thinking he's bidden four diamonds. If he bids four diamonds, which is what I expect, I can bid four hearts to show the heart control. He didn't do that. He denied a diamond control. I know he doesn't have a heart control, so he bids four spades. Are we done? You know, if partner has the king jack of diamonds, <laughs> all I need him to have is a king jack of diamonds and the king of spades. Okay, and, and we're making six on this hand. So I likely will take another bid with this hand. Are we safe at the five level? Almost certainly. Okay, we are almost certainly safe at the five level. So I can take another control showing bid. Hey, Bard. I'm still interested. Okay. I've got clubs controlled. I've got hearts controlled. Okay. You bid diamonds. <laughs> So take another look, and I'm still interested in slam, even though you denied having the diamond ace. Pretty darn good description of this hand. How do you have a club control if you've got a board? Uh, because we're playing this hand in spades. Yeah, I'm going to drop it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing no trump. Blackwood has nothing to do with no trump, other than invoking for no trump invokes the blackwood. Yes, ma'am. I know I'm missing something, but what if his points are ace, king, queen of clubs? He has two little diamonds. God, I hate that. <laughs> I do. And he, no, well, he doesn't have two little diamonds because he opened a diamond. He has but, four crappy diamonds. God, I hate that. <laughs> five crappy okay. Diamonds. Well, can he have the jack? Can I give him the jack? Yeah. If I can give him the jack. And given the king of spades, we're still making five spades on this hand. As long as we are giving up an immediate diamond rub, which would be, what's the word I'm looking for? Unfortunately. But, I'm sorry, so my question was, why, not, why doesn't that hand bid four no trump instead of five hearts? Oh, because I don't care how many aces he has. Actually, I probably know how many aces he has. That's not what I need to know. I want to I want to convey information to my partner that says, partner, I've got clubs controlled. And if he's looking at the ace of clubs, does he know what control looks like? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Does this make some sense? So when you say control, it means you've got to have at least uh, two high card points? I've got the ace uh -huh. or a void. I have something which will prevent us from losing the first trick in this suit. Only first. First trick okay. in this suit. Now, in a control showing auction, I could um, Okay. Partner bids four diamonds. I bid four hearts. Partner bids five diamonds. 